All right. Three. Three. Two. Two. One. Okay. I got a message the other day, someone asking if we could make a quick video to show the proper drogue fold. So I'm going to do that now, uh, folding the 54 inch drogue. The drogue lives in its pocket. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to unfold it. And in the context of using words and ideas that we're all familiar with, I like to think of the drogue as having a north pole and a south pole. North pole is one end, south pole is the other, because in addition to having a north and south pole, it also has an equator. This piece of type 4 tape is the equator of the drogue. This is where the first fold occurs, and it is not a coincidence that the width of this type 4 tape is the width of the drogue pocket. That's the target fold size for the width of the drogue when we're done folding it. So I'm going to take the drogue, I'm going to lay it out flat on the floor next to the container, making sure that my north pole and south pole and equator are all in order, flattened out, smooth. Here's my equator right here. It's the drogue attachment piece. If I want to double check that, I can fold the drogue over, and here it is again. Here's my first folding point for the drogue. So open this back up again, spread it out nice and smooth. Once I have the drogue spread out, I'm going to take the drogue bridle, and I'm basically just going to bring the bridle out of the drogue to the bottom of it, the south pole, if you will, flat across the fabric. Once I've done that, I'm going to make my first pizza fold, if you will. I'm going to bring my north pole to my south pole. Now it looks like I'm staring at a half a pizza. Once I've done that first fold, I double check just to make sure that the uh, type 4 tape is actually where the fold is occurring. It is. That's perfect. I'm then going to pinch the north pole, the south pole, and the bridle that's coming out of it flat. I'm going to make a second fold and bring that back up to the equator. Now that that is back up to the equator, I'm going to flat, smooth, bring the bridle back out the bottom of the fold. And this is the target for my S folding now. This is the fold. It's the width of the, of the pocket. It's now also the depth of the pocket, and that's our, our goal, width and depth of the pocket. So I'm going to S fold the bridle flat for bulk distribution. It doesn't have to be perfect, but the goal is to arrive at my last S fold where the box stitching, you can see it here, the upper and lower attachment points of the drogue, that the end of the stitch line is at the edge of the drogue fabric. If you do that, if you place this stitch line at the edge of the drogue fabric on your S folds, then there'll be just enough bridle left to put the drogue in the pocket with excess bridle being able to come down into the bottom of the container. Just enough leftover bridle. So the key here is not to fold the upper and lower attachment point over because that creates like a monkey fist. It creates a lump inside the pack job that could hesitate the drogue's uh, deployment. So we want nice flat. You can see this last S fold is cheated back a little bit. Perfectly fine. Again, the goal is a flat bridle fold with this last stitch line at the edge of the uh, fabric. So now I'm going to take my drogue fold. I'm going to go left, right, left, right one third. The most common mistake here, if you want to call it that, is to fold on the bridle. That first fold comes all the way over to the bridle. That's not our target. We do not want to fold it this far across. Our target is only to bring the drogue over about one third of the way. So you can see here, we've gone left fold one third, right fold again one third, flattened out, left fold again one third, right fold now one third and our final destination here in the drogue fold is that we've now folded the drogue the exact length and width of the pocket that it's about to go into with just enough bridle left to be able to slide the drogue into the pocket cleanly so here's my flat drogue fold the key here now we have a flat drogue fold like an envelope is that like a taco shell or a hot dog bun the opening of the fold has to be towards the rear of the container. We can do all this great work, but if we put the drogue in upside down, it's going to take all that great work away because as soon as the drogue comes off of our hip during the drogue set, the relative wind that we're setting it into is going to open the drogue fold and it's going to mushroom or expand off of our hip and end up on our back in the burble. So, again, 
that key the placement point is this. We place the drogue in the pocket, opening of the drogue, the taco shell, the hot dog bun, facing the back of the container so that when we set the drogue, we pull it out into the relative wind, the relative wind is coming this way, the relative wind is coming this way, it'll actually hold the drogue closed as it clears our burble and prevent it from opening while it's clearing the burble. So that's the key point there. Now I'm going to take this flat drogue fold, I'm going to turn the rig on the side, and because it's a nice flat smooth drogue fold, really easy to get into the pocket. Super simple, there's no bridle left over exposed hanging out to accidentally catch air. The pocket is, excuse me, the width of the fold, the type 4 tape again is the width of the pocket. And then there's an advanced rigging technique that was taught to me by Pablo called applied violence. We just give it a little flat smack on the bottom of the container that will smooth out any of the roll created by pushing it into the pocket. So now we have a flat, smooth drogue throat fold that is easy in, easy out. There's no hesitation on it, nothing catching it. It's firmly secured in the pocket, but as soon as we need to set it, it's ready for immediate uh, deployment. That being said, don't prime your drogues. You don't need to do this. If you do a proper drogue fold and use a proper drogue setting technique, you do not need to prime the drogue. Please don't do that. That is the drogue fold. Thank you.